what is good YouTubians? It has been a while since I've posted and I do have updates for the channel if you're interested. Stick around till the end, but for now, enjoy this video. Kayla's back. And she got her skateboard. Bam. Anyone who watched the last video of Kayla skateboarding, you know that even though she tried really, really, really hard, really hard. to get her shove it, she was unable to land one. I personally think that it was really just the fear of commitment that kept her from landing it. So we started brainstorming ideas of how to get her more comfortable and kind of build her up to the landing of the shove it. So we went out and bought beef jerky. No, just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> it is skate trainers. This is backwards. So we got these bad boys on Amazon for like 29, 30 bucks. No, that's a lie. We got these on Amazon for like $20 or so. We are gonna open these beef jerky packets up, get them on the wheels, and then Kayla is gonna do her thing. We are gonna go to the covered pavilion because it is starting to rain. Let's get to it. Yeah, yeah. It says learn to ollie, kickflip, and more. All in a package of beef jerky. They're like jail for my wheels. And you get this sticker. I love stickers. So what do they just go on? There's no instructions, but the way that it appears to go on these things is like, just put your wheels in jail. Oop, oh. littering guys. Oh, that's pretty simple. I just call them, they're wheel jails. All right. Let's do it. Drop my sticker, dude. Whoops. Step on, let me know how you feel. Is it going anywhere? Nope. Sturdy? So why don't you just start with like an ollie or something? See, I personally think that that's the problem with this is that you're learning things still, so then you'll have to relearn them again when you're rolling. Maybe it will help her build the confidence that she needs to be able to land it, so we'll try it out. I feel like once I know that I know the move and I can do it, then I will be okay when I move. But because I'm unsure when I move, I'm scared. <laughs> Slide that foot on up, girl. That was good. Go girl, you can do it. Yo, that was it. That was the one. You ready to start trying some shoves? Hold on, I wanna try an ollie on that. How does it feel? Oh, that's weird. Oh. Mad height though. Your board's so small. See, I don't think it's that helpful. I think it's harmful. It's sketchy. <laughs> I don't really enjoy it that much. See, I think you're gonna have to pop it. You can't just slide it on the ground. I don't know if I like that. Can I give you a hint? You can't just slide it across like you would if you didn't have these trainers on. I think instead of putting in your back foot, so like on the corner, bring it in just a little bit and then pop down and back instead of straight back. Okay. That might help. Yeah, see that? You fully got that, dude. Give one good full commitment one. Jump up and just land on it no matter what. I find that it's harder to skate with these on. I don't think I like it.
How are we doing? That was a good commitment though. All right, give me one right here. Full commit, you got it. More scoop, less shoulder. Yo, keep that, that was good. Remember like landing and like bending your knees as you land to like soften the blow and keep your balance? Bend when you land. That was good, that was good bending. How do you feel about doing one without the trainers? Next time. I'm not totally comfortable. I haven't like landed one that I feel like, all right, I know what this board's gonna do, where I'm gonna go. I'm still missing that calculation. So until then, straight trainers it is, guys. You killed it, dude. Okay, that is gonna be it. Kayla straight up smashed it. That was a terrible high five. Up. Okay. All right. That was great, dude. You landed one. You landed a few. Yeah, like, I'm excited few. to see the few, bitch. I'm excited to see the footage. Words are hard. <laughs> so do you think it helped you? I do because I think the way that my mind works is that I need to be comfortable and understand the move before I can add moving to it. So it like helps you get your feet placement and yes. like the confidence. I personally did not like them, but I learned my tricks rolling. So it's really weird to sit still, like completely, completely still and try to do a trick is I didn't really like it to be honest with you. And I think for the shoves, it kind of takes away from like the ability to just slide it on the ground. You have to really like pop it to get it to go all the way around. So that was like a new element for you, I think, with the yeah. whole thing. I can see how they could be helpful to someone like at your level of skating. I personally would not recommend them to anybody who like already has the basics down. I think they're more harmful than they are helpful yeah. at that point. But for like very beginner like mm -hmm. you, who is still not like fully comfortable like riding around and like you can ride around and you can roll and all that but like you're not like getting speed you're not like right. rolling off curbs and stuff so you're still like getting used to it so i definitely think that that's helpful in that sense yeah i feel like if you're not learning anything moving right now and you're just starting out i feel like this is good to be stationary and get comfortable with how the board moves underneath you without worrying about it rolling away that is gonna be this session we hope this review helps you guys oh there's some kids just going bananas we hope it helps you guys out if you're thinking about buying skate trainers if it'll be helpful or not i think that's it that's it guys all right thanks for coming out and helping me with this video and progressing what is good y'all it has been a while so if you watch my channel regularly you know that i haven't been uploading in like two or three weeks or so and i really just needed to take that time to kind of refocus and figure out where it is that I want this channel to go. So you guys know that this channel has solely been skateboarding content. That's because this last year or so I've really just focused on skateboarding. It's been really really amazing for like my skate progression journey. It's been awesome but it has kind of stopped me from doing other things that I enjoy doing because every time I go out I'm focused on getting skate content to get clips for the videos and blah 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 you guys know how it goes so I took this time off because I was feeling kind of stagnant and feeling like uh, I needed to make some changes but I didn't really know what those changes were gonna be and I was getting a little overwhelmed so I took some time to just kind of do my own thing and organize my thoughts and just really figure out which direction I want this channel to go so pretty much I decided to model this channel based on a skate obstacle and that skate obstacle is the fun box so google defines a fun box as a combination of ramps banks and usually a rail or ledge fun boxes are very versatile and can be used creatively for flat tricks or transition tricks so i really like the concept of the versatility and the creativity and the combination of things and those are the three key words that i'm going to use to move forward with this channel so pretty much i'm going to be introducing other things that i have fun doing that i really want to create content on there's still going to be plenty of skate content on this channel because i love skateboarding i want to continue to progress and i want to continue to make videos on that stuff but there's also other things that i like to do that kind of fall in the same realm of 
sport activity fun type of thing and um, I've really been wanting to make content on that. It was kind of a scary thing to decide to open up the channel to these other things because I didn't want to lose the audience that I already had but I think it's really important for me to do what I think is going to make me happy and go about this channel the way that I want to. I don't really want to fit into this like cookie cutter YouTube success type of plan. I kind of want to do it my own way and if I succeed doing that, great. And if not, that's okay too. I'm still going to have fun doing whatever it is that I'm doing on here. I really hope you guys stick around. Like I said, there is going to be plenty of skate content and I really do think you guys will enjoy watching this other stuff that I post up. It's just a lot of fun and shenanigans and uh, I, think, I think it'll be a good time. So thank you guys who have been following me through this whole time. I really do appreciate it and I hope you guys stick around. And if you're new to this channel, I hope you subscribe. Get ready for some fun stuff to drop. I'm pumped about it. I hope you guys are pumped as well. Thank you for watching. I hope I catch you next time and peace out.